to an issue which ignites passion on both sides, panhandling. While a federal judge ruled last year that it can't be banned on free speech grounds, city officials in Lowell are embracing another tactic. They're putting up signs in an effort to discourage citizens from giving to people who ask for money on the streets. Earlier today, we caught up with a few folks to ask their thoughts on panhandlers and whether they'll give money to people on the street. I prefer giving it to an organization because you never really know where, where, you know, where it's really going at the end of the day. Many times what I will do is instead of giving them money or cash, I will see what's around. If there's a store around, I'll buy them a slice of pizza. I'm more comfortable with giving them something or helping them in some way than I am in giving them with cash. If I have uh, some sort of food, I will give that to them. I think it's safer to give it to, you know, like Salvation Army. But, you know, if someone's coming up to you and they're hungry, it's nice to give a hand out. Joining me now are Tom Kane, former Boston City Councilor. Tom, it's good to Pleasure see you. To be here. Jeff Olivet is CEO of the Boston-based Center for Social Innovation. Good to meet you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Do you like this idea? I do very Why? much. Why? Because um, uh, you give money in directly to a homeless person. You don't know where that money's going. It could be going to feed the addiction. Take that money, give it to a homeless shelter, give it to an advocacy organization, actually try to get to the root of the problem. Did you, when you were a city councilor in a former life, were you there when they tried to do the, ban this, quote, aggressive? The so aggressive. Uh, panhandling? It, absolutely, and it passed, actually, in uh, 1998, and then there was an additional bill in 2013. But was it ever really enforced? I mean, the whole well, notion, I hear the little rhetoric from the time was we're going at the behavior, not the speech. Right. So theoretically, it's not unconstitutional. But did it ever go anywhere? Or? No, I mean, it passed, but it really is not much, it's not a useful tool. I mean, the best tool, quite frankly, is to build more shelters, to provide more housing options, to do better mental health. That's the best choice. So you like or don't like this idea? Uh, I don't like the idea. Why? I think, I think panhandling is a deeply personal issue, both for the people who make the very difficult and, and in some cases humiliating decision to panhandle, as well as difficult for those who are considering whether to give or not. You know, we all consider ourselves to be experts. I'm not demeaning at all the people we talk to on the street, but you know, everybody's got an opinion about what the right thing is to do. Isn't the conventional wisdom, even if he's going too far or Lowell is going too far, isn't the notion that giving cash directly to an individual who's asking is probably not a terribly productive act? It might be for that person that day, though, who's trying to survive, who's trying to feed their kids, who's trying to find a place to sleep for the night. So is this, is this like a personal, I mean, I want to know where you're coming from in this, Jeff. Is this sort of, you know, respect the individual decisions of these humans, or is there a larger policy notion that this is okay? I'm not 100% clear. I think there are both. I think, I love that you uh, mentioned that these are humans. I yeah. think the biggest mistake we all make is walking by people without looking them in the eye and assuming they're less than human. On the policy front, though, I think we're asking the wrong questions. When What's we, the right question? When we focus on panhandling, we're looking at a little cut on the surface and saying, how do we fix that? And we're ignoring a, a volleyball-sized cancer beneath the surface. Well, we're ignoring everything. I mean, because right. we don't pay for anything. So That's this right. is just we don't one pay for many. housing. We don't pay for mental health. But I want to get back to the eye contact thing for a minute ago. It, 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 this is going to sound crass, and I don't mean it this way. Is there certain things that we as a citizenry decide are the cause of the day or the year or the month. Homelessness was huge. We all had uh, at least said we had tremendous compassion years ago. It's not in vogue anymore, is it? Now we're worried about the inconvenience. We have to walk around somebody. They bother us, all this. I mean, that is where the collective mindset has gone, is it not? I think you're onto something. It comes in and out of vogue. I mean, homelessness has been part of this country for 350 years. And there are times we pay attention to it, there are times we make smart policies, and there are times we make big steps backwards. You know, are you worried that if it turns out that, that Lowell is successful here, even if it is a matter of policy, you find it to be a good idea, do you not worry what happens to those people in the, in the meantime? And they become, these agencies, the entities you want them to give to, or low ones them to give to, become the middle people. What if the middle people are not able to funnel as much money to the individual in the street who need it just to survive? What yeah, happens so then? I'm, I'm really unpersuaded that giving money directly to a panhandle or homeless person is actually going to help that person. I think most often it's going to feed the addiction. I did like one of the suggestions from the clips of the people interviewed Which was, that you give food to those people. You actually go buy them a meal. That's a great idea. I think the real issue here, though, is that if you're giving money directly, what you're doing is feeding an addiction, most likely. If you give money to a shelter, you're actually helping to solve a problem. So how do you make, we only have a minute left, how do you make the case that this should be higher on the priority list of people who spend public money? We just read this mental health series in the Globe, which is 
painful about what is not being done. The cops essentially become mental health counselors. The prisons become the mental health facilities. So in 15 seconds, make the case this should be higher on the list uh, for legislators, for money appropriators. It costs us more not to do anything. It costs us more not to provide housing and services for people. So even if you don't believe in the cause, if you believe in the bottom line, it makes sense. I think it makes sense from the bottom line point of view and from the moral point of Are view. Are you nodding in agreement? Uh, absolutely. That's a point on which we both agree. I mean, this is a very serious issue. Spend money on the issue. Get people the health, mental health care that they need. Get them some housing. Get them job training. It's much better for society as a whole than to have basically this economic drag. Tom, nice to see you. Thanks pleasure so to be much. Chef, pleasure to meet Jim, you. It's great to meet you. Thanks so much. Be well.